Today, we're going to take a look at a theory about not only the origins of the great evil King Ganondorf, but the entire Gerudo tribe as well. I know it sounds crazy at first, the Gerudo aren't even mentioned in Skyward Sword, but as a lot of origins from the Zelda series are uncovered in Skyward Sword, I think even more are implied or hinted at. I want to start with Groose's physical appearance. When we're first introduced to him, there's no denying he strikes a stunning resemblance to what a younger Ganondorf would look like in Scoured Sword's art style. A muscular physique, broad shoulders, red hair, and the short temper and an I deserve this type of attitude we've grown to see from the Gerudo and Ganondorf. Groose is a natural leader among his peers, but not in a positive way. He abuses the respect he is given by his so-called friends to annoy Link for no other reason than pure jealousy of Link's friendship with Zelda, and Link's bond with his Loftwing, which could potentially lead to him becoming a knight instead of Groose. Again, we can see similarities with Ganondorf. In Ocarina of Time, Ganondorf is shown walking in a room full of Hyrule's knights and bowing to the King of Hyrule. Ganondorf, like Groose, abuses his friendship with the king to get what he wants. It doesn't matter if anyone gets hurt in the process or not. At the end of Skyward Sword, when Link defeats Demise, it is stated that an incarnation of him will follow the descendants of both Link and Zelda and torture the inhabitants of the land. This is an obvious reference to the constant threats of Ganon. However, it should not be assumed that only Link and Zelda's descendants were punished for the killing of Demise. There was another person who had just as much to do with the Demise's fall as the heroes did. If the conflict between Princess Zelda, Link, and Ganondorf were turned into a high school play, it would be like a rivalry between Link, Zelda, and Groose, each character representing their Ocarina of Time counterparts, Groose being the rival of Link while still displaying a great amount of strength, cunning, and motivation as he helps Link to defeat the Imprisoned. In fact, if it wasn't for Groose, the Mize would have awakened much too early for the heroes to prepare. Groose may as well be just as responsible for his death. We see Groose make a major transition in Skyward Sword, from the Biff Tannen stereotypical bully to a courageous friend. It's not coincidence that Groose plays such a vital part in Skyward Sword. With his darker skin, red hair, brute strength, and red jewel on his chest, a color representing Din, the goddess of power, and most recognized by the Gerudos, it could be that Groose is the beginning of the Gerudo line. Demise's plan is also to punish Groose's descendants by sacrificing one in particular to be the host of his evil spawn, Ganondorf. Ganondorf is being cursed thanks to no fault of his own, but because of Groose's role in defeating Demise. We see Groose make a major transition in Skyward Sword, from the Biff Tannen stereotypical bully to a courageous friend. In the ending credits of Skyward Sword, we see Groose and his pals flying in the direction of Lanaru Desert. Some speculate the desert is actually the same location as the Gerudo Desert. We know the Lanaru Desert used to have a huge body of water, and some incarnations of the Gerudo Desert still have a river or some source of water still flowing through it. The Gerudo Dragonfly are only present in this province. Is it possible that over the years that Lanaru Desert's name was changed, or at least a habitable portion was sectioned off and named after the insect? Stritch is seen flying with Groose toward the Lanaru Desert, and with his known love for the insects and with Groose's friendlier attitude, it would make sense that he allows Stritch to name the area after his love of the insects. With this, I ask you, is it not only possible that Groose's bloodline hold the origins of the entire Gerudo tribe, but some of his descendants are cursed to become different incarnations of Demise, who we now know as Ganondorf, Vati, or even Majora? Remember, this is just a theory. Please thumb up, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you would like to see a theory on next. Link's lineage? Or Volvagia from Ocarina of Time? Or let me know an original theory you would like to hear in the comments below.